Doing all right? Good. Good, until you showed us that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the doozy to end on. <laughs> all right. So uh, again, thank goodness we've got some directions here to give us some assistance. But um, it's not that complicated. So first of all, I'm going to go to point one. I'm going to click, hold, and drag over to point two. And then release my mouse. Then I'm going to go over to point three. Now what you'll see here is that we're make, making an arc, but we're going to have an interior arc so that it gives us a thicker outline here. And then we get into a thinner outline and then a little bit thicker until we get back to the end. So I'm going to place my cursor on point number three. There are two different points here. So you want to be on point three. You're going to click, hold, and drag down to point number four. That's going to give us that upper outer area. Then I'm going to go back up, which now becomes point number five. Then I'm going to click on that same point and drag down to, oops, sorry and hold down the option key and drag down to number six. Then I'm gonna go over to point seven. Click, hold, and drag to eight. Go back to that same point on seven. Hold down the option key. Click, hold, and drag down to 10. That's gonna give us one handle, which now that handle forces us to go in the opposite direction. Place my cursor on 11. Click, hold, and drag up all the way to the top to number 12. Then I'm gonna take my cursor back down to the 13. Drag back up to 14 while I'm holding the option key. That gives me just the upper handle. And then go over to 15 and I'll click, hold and drag, oops, sorry. Then I'm gonna go to 15 and I'm gonna click, hold and drag. And you might have to hold down the option key there to 16. And then if I fill that with color, now you can see how it goes from thin to thick, back down to thin, thick, and then back to the ending point. So I'll give you a little bit longer time on that one because there are a few more steps there. If you feel like you're getting lost, just uh, take a moment, read the instructions on each of the points. There is gonna be some moments where you're having to hold down the option key because again, you wanna manipulate one single handle without affecting the other handles.
How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> Agreed. Is everybody finished or are you still still trying to wrap it up? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right. That wraps up our little practice activities with the pen tool. So obviously we spent some considerable time with that tool because you are going to be using it um, hopefully a lot in the future not necessarily just in the class environment, but um, out in the real world, if you will, especially when you're trying to uh, recreate artwork that maybe you found a digital file of that was made up of pixels or whatnot, and now you want something that you can then customize and adjust the size however you want to. We'd obviously want to turn it into vector art. 